Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Now, today's video is just gonna be another conversation with Morgan. Um, I'm gonna be bringing these conversations with you guys at least once a day, if not three times a week. Try to be a little bit more consistent with that. If anything to do with consistent, just know that I personally am consistently inconsistent, which is awesome. So you guys might get these on little surprises here and there, or if I try to stay consistent with them, you guys will try to get them three days a week or even every day, just depending. Now, today's conversation with Morgan is going to be all about how to find success in what you do. Now, the reason why I bring this topic up here for you guys today is because as I was trying to figure out what I wanted to talk to you guys about in terms of what kind of value I can bring to you guys in these conversations with Morgan is I was looking through a few, uh, a book at least, one book that stood out to me on the shelf, which is the 10X Rule with Grant Cardone. And in this book, um, before I even flipped to a page, I already knew what I wanted to talk to you guys about. And what I wanted to talk to you guys really about is uh, how to change your outlook and perception and how to align yourself with your goals. Now, the reason why I bring this topic up is because in the book, he has a great story, which kind of... I can almost relate to in a sense, um, but the only part I can relate to it is just because I worked at McDonald's as well too. And I'm pretty sure a lot of us have worked at McDonald's or some kind of fast food restaurant um, in our lives. Um, if not, we're probably still you're probably still working at one as well too. It all it doesn't matter as much. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about was basically how to align yourself with your goals and how that changing your outlook on life and changing what you guys do. Um, will basically uh, get you guys to your goals faster. Now, in the book, he talks about basically how he used to work at McDonald's and he was working there for, I believe, like $7 an hour and he hated it. And I remember back in 2000 and what, 10, 11, when I got my 2009, 10, when I was first working at McDonald's as well too, it was kind of the same thing. I was getting paid around $7 and seven dollars and in change in terms of um in terms of my hourly rate as well too which is pretty awesome uh it's kind of funny how to see um back then that was like average wage i don't know when he was working that's probably a little bit of a higher wage so it's crazy to see but anyways uh enough of that there in when he was talking about that he talks about how he hated working there and he was only working there just so he could have some spending money. And so he hated working there. And a lot of us probably hate working at, well, I shouldn't use hate. Hate is such a strong word, but a, a lot of us probably don't like what it is that we do currently. And we just work there just to have that extra little bit of cash to spend and have that little bit of extra cash to spend. and in turn have that little bit of extra cash to pay our bills or anything like that now he also mentioned in the book in that story as well too how there's a guy who's working there as well too um who's always working next to him i would assume and this guy just absolutely loved his job it was something that he was very passionate about doing and he didn't understand why that guy was super excited about coming into work every day i would assume coming into work every day for seven dollars an hour scrubbing toilets scrubbing the floors cleaning this and that and mcdonald's back then with their kitty playgrounds there's so much mess you'd have to clean for seven dollars an hour he didn't understand why that guy was super excited and that guy didn't understand why he wasn't as excited as he was now there's and this is where it gets interesting when i talk about aligning yourself with your goals now the guy who's super excited about working there for seven dollars an hour the reason why he was super excited was because he wanted to learn the business. He wanted to learn how to operate a fast food franchise. And he wanted to open up over a hundred different fast food franchises. Well, the person who dislikes what they do or is just there for the spending money, they're not gonna absolutely like what it is that they're doing because they're just looking for that spending money. So it's not gonna make sense to him to get excited for working $7 an hour versus the guy who's super excited who didn't care about making seven dollars an hour but wanted to learn the actual business and that's where if you guys align with yourself with your goals and you change your outlook on life then it completely becomes different for you guys and it completely changes your outlook and changes what it is that you guys do so i'm not saying go out to work tomorrow and just 
look at your work as it's something that you want to learn the business and open up a bunch of franchises of that but if it's something that interests you guys definitely go for it but if it's something that is basically just something for spending money go out get yourself grounded figure out what it is exactly that you guys want to do or figure out exactly what kind of goals you guys have set out for yourself and then from there um you guys will find purpose and with finding that purpose you guys will then in turn find something that you guys will want to do want to achieve and something that you guys are going to be happy and excited just like the guy who was excited at working at mcdonald's for seven dollars an hour now again how is this going to help you guys find your success in what you guys do now so some success is basically something that uh people make it's not something that can be found easily it's not something that you can find just by googling up how to become successful no it's something that you have to go out and you have to personally make yourself and to make that happen what you guys need to do is you guys need to be grounded in exactly what it is you guys want out of life what your goals are and aligning yourself and to position yourself into that it's something that i always tell myself is what i'm doing or something that i personally tell myself is and what i'm doing is i'm always setting myself up for success whether it, it whatever it is that i'm doing if it's not if it doesn't make sense to do it now i rather have the knowledge on how to do it now so later on in life it then you can create that opportunity of success for you guys when the time and the opportunity appears then you guys already have the understanding or the foundation of what it is you guys do that what it is that i do personally to set myself up for success i always like to trip into success I always like to make success a habit success is basically your duty as he says in the book now another thing as well too is once you guys align yourself and you guys are grounded and you guys figure out what it is you guys want to do work on becoming one percent better every day in terms of reaching and creating that success create an environment in which success can grow for you guys and to do that work on becoming one percent better every day and if you guys do that at the end of the year success will definitely find you guys in whatever areas in life it is whether it be your family finances business uh even friends or go out and create that become one percent better and life will change for you guys and your outlook on life will change as well too other than that hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i'll try to drop another one here for you guys shortly and like i said personally i am consistently inconsistent which works great for me but at the same time i'll try to be more consistent here and try to get you guys at least one video a week if not three videos a week there <laughs> other than that uh you guys take care cheers